Good morning everyone. So I'm trying to vlog properly today, which means actually like documenting most of my day. So I am on the way to an appointment right now, but I just had to show you guys. I wanted to stop for coffee, so this is me stopping for coffee. These are all vending machines and they have hot and cold options. So I just chose to get a cold coffee. As you can see, it's legit like in the middle of we live out here by all this farm and if the um, screen is fogging up that's because it is humid AF out here so yeah on the way to the appointment now I don't know if we have plans afterwards so I'll update you guys like I said I'm really gonna try to vlog today so it should be a full day of activities okay guys so today is the morning after that deadly shooting in Orlando and it's just absolutely insane It's that stuff like this is becoming more common. I'm just so, I don't know, like what would happen, because like Japan, Japan, guns are illegal. And they live like a really peaceful, like easy life it seems. They're very, they're very respectful of each other. They have such good values in their culture and stuff. And I understand like our gun rights are an, amend an amendment and we've had them for like hundreds of years but would it be so bad to not have guns? So many other countries in the world don't really have guns to their just regular people and I'm just thinking like would it be that horrific for America to get on board with some of the other most powerful countries in the world? I don't know. But I but the argument still stands like, oh, even if guns were illegal, the bad guys would still be able to get their hands on them. That's true. I don't know, it's just this stuff is so ridiculous. It's so, it's so ridiculous. And you can't even like limit it to um, like Muslims or people of Middle Eastern descent. Because like you can just have a plain old white guy and he can do the same thing. Like it's so, it's horrible. It's absolutely like morbid. Like when you think of 50 people, like you really can't, I personally can't like imagine, okay, just what exactly does a group of 50 people look like? But then I kind of imagine um, laying like 50 people on the floor, like one person, two person, three person, four person. 50 people is a lot of damn people. And prayers to Orlando. Um, in a lighter news, I feel like really weird switching from such a heavy topic like that to just like my real world stuff, but um, I have a really bad habit of not buying anything. Like I'm just like, okay, I need to restock on this, I want to try these lippies, I want to do a video about this. And I just have a horrible habit of not spending money. Like, I will have four websites up on my computer with full shopping carts. All I need to do is pl press place order, but I wait for weeks to do so. Yesterday, I'm obsessing over my Chorus face wash, right? It's like the only face wash I'm using. So I was low on that, so I'm like, okay, I for sure have to buy that. I bought another Kat Von D Trooper, and then from Ulta, I bought a ton of stuff, which I'm super excited because I bought a lot of NYX things, so I'm for sure going to do an Ulta haul and a lip swatch try-on video, which I'm super excited about because they brought out their NYX liquid suede lipsticks, and they just have a ton of bomb-ass colors, so I bought those. I think I threw like a blue in there somewhere, so I'm excited for that. So that's what I did last night spent like two hundred dollars hmm. but I'm saying it's an investment for my channel that's that's what I'm doing but um this is the iced coffee that I got what is it Georgia iced coffee thinking of it now I only really like iced coffee like in the car and I should have got a hot coffee yeah <laughs> so pretty in your dress.
<laughs> Stop making fun of her. You're so mean. It's so cute. You guys. Okay, so CJ and I, I went to go eat Taco Bell. And then I just picked up a few things like baby wipes and a few wet and wild blushes. And came back and it was completely like typhooning outside. Like wind and rain going totally across the sky and so I'm soaked I didn't put a blanket on Mariah like I didn't go inside with one so we had nothing on the outside so I kind of just like shielded her the best that I can but you guys can see like the water I don't know if you can see all the water resting on my arm I'm drenched homegirl is drenched so gonna go back home now hopefully it's not pouring when we get home because we have outdoor parking there too this is why I don't leave the house like mm, I don't miss this at all I just want to be at home listening to a podcast and slaying my face that's it okay guys so we just got home from being out I put on like comfy clothes now Mariah is trying to nap she's kind of like up and off Okay, so the two blushes I got from the store is apricot in the middle, and then I got this other one in rose champagne. One is like a ginger terracotta color, and this one is just a rose. This one has a little bit of sparkle, so I'm really excited to use those. I saw Katie Lester Lux talk about like the new formula and how she really enjoyed them, so I have those. I might use them or I might save them for my Ulta haul and just make it like one big drugstore thing. I'm not sure yet. But um, it is probably like 1.30 or it might be later. But we had the air conditioning in our master bedroom break. So our master bedroom is hot. And then we had our dryer break yesterday. So we have a guy coming at three to look at the dryer. And basically what I wanna do, right now we have Mariah's room mixed in with my makeup room because we have a big king bed in a, another bedroom that's like so big it's takes, it takes up the whole bedroom so we had to combine the makeup room with Mariah's area. But now since there's no need for the guest bedroom I think I either want to sell the bed or I want to put it up and give Mariah her own room because when she starts crawling and stuff I wanted to have her like own space. It's six o'clock in the evening now I will show you what I have done. So I took apart the bed and then I moved some stuff out of this room and so now we're left with this. I don't know if I'm selling this yet or what. And I don't know if this can be the beauty room or Mariah's room, but we got it clear. And I started putting some stuff away. My mom always told me that everything has a place and so I just have to find the place for everything in this apartment. Because it all has a place, I just haven't found it yet. But um, yeah, beauty room. I have to figure out what to do with some things, but that's pretty much it for the day. We had the guy come and he fixed the dryer, but then we had the people come and look at the air conditioning and they said they're going to order the parts and the housing agency is going to call us back. So my shoulders are really hurting me. I don't know what I did, but I think I'm going to take a bath tonight. So I'm charging my iPad to get ready for that. And then for dinner, CJ and I are going to have quinoa some chicken sausage and some leftover chicken wings from last night so i'm preparing that right now sorry and that's when i realized that i forgot to tell you guys what's going on so for quinoa you do double the amount of water to quinoa and then i just use bouillon cubes to flavor them so that's what i'm gonna do Okay, so we have the chicken bouillon getting up in there, and so I just have it on low. It has to come to a boil, 
and then this is quinoa so if I have four cups of water I need two cups of quinoa so what you're supposed to do with quinoa is you're supposed to rinse it so I have these little um, baggies that I got from the hundred yen store and I just put the quinoa in here and then I run it under Jesus can I talk I run it under running water to rinse it off. If you don't rinse it, it's a little tart, so you have to make sure you rinse it before you eat it. CJ's home, everyone. Hey. Get home. My shoulders hurt. I'm sorry. Why do your shoulders hurt? I don't know, actually. So I tell them I'm gonna take a bath. Okay, and I'm about to tell them now. All right, guys. So uh, we have an announcement. Baby number two. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that would be crazy, huh? <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. You know, just for you, you know. What if I really like announced I was pregnant like that to you though? That'd be, that'd be good because I, I would could capture believe. it on camera. Yeah, I wouldn't believe you. Because I'd just be thinking about your health. You know, you have to wait you know, until your body's fully recovered from, you know, just because I care about you. No, but the announcement is, um, I've been thinking, you know, we've been thinking and uh, we're I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be starting my own YouTube channel! Oh my god! Yay! Oh my god! Or we could just start our own YouTube channel. No. Or we could just start our own as a couple, like all the other couples who YouTube. That's what I meant. Oh, so not your own. Yeah, yeah. This is a couple. I'm gonna be vlogging and it's gonna be so about my family. We might so. be vlogging to a different channel. Mm. Him vlogging, me vlogging, us both vlogging. And then we'll get a better camera too. We've been doing research, you know, so. Yeah, probably gonna get the uh, G7X Mark II, since that seems to be trending now. Or we should hold out until they get the Mark III. Yeah. No, I don't know when that's coming out. Can you tell them, okay, so my quinoa? Okay, you guys, so about the quinoa, we're gonna put it on low now because it actually has to chill and cook for like 20, minute so I'm gonna put it on low and then if you have a cool bag like this you can just empty it in like that so I would say cook it slowly because if you try cooking it quickly it might not be soft enough when you eat it and it'll be a little bit crunchy so I just cook it longer and just cook it on low and then we just reuse these little bags okay you guys so I have the chicken sausage right here the quinoa is done and then I have the chicken wings from yesterday that I'm going to heat up. And it's just going to be a quick, you know, throw it together dinner. I'm going to bring her down to my level. She looks so big. She is. You guys, we found out Mariah is 11 pounds today. 11 pounds. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Hello. She just got a nice clean bath. Yes, she's she did. all clean. CJ was saying that her neck smelled probably true. Oh, oh my God, that on camera. You're just recording it. <laughs> Here. Oh. All right, time for another bath. Yeah. That was so funny, I got it on camera. Yeah, no, mommy just like you laughing at us. <laughs> okay guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It is eight o'clock at night. Um I'm just chilling on my computer. Cedar just gave Mariah a bath. And yeah, we're just gonna relax for the rest of the night. So please let me know if you like this vlog. I feel really good about it since I vlogged all day long. So yeah.
I'll see you guys next time. Bye.